What's up everyone, Mortal Snow here. In today's video I'm going to be explaining the storyline of Fortnite Chapter 2 Remix. So let's go straight into the video. <coughs> so to kind of explain Remix, we kind of need to go back a little bit to Chapter 5, Season 4, Absolute Doom, and how the storyline of that season ended off going into this season. So, at the season ending off with the storyline, we had Doom as the big bad, the villain, trying to basically make the perfect society, and we saw the conclusion of that in the mini event, the Absolute Doom event. The Rift Beacons were powering up, and they were firing directly at Doom's Forge Tower, but then Doom fought back, blasts a wave of smoke, pushing everyone back, and everyone was on the ground, and as we woke up and the dust settled, Doom emerged, about to attack us. Then, all we needed to do was get the Rift Beacon activated, we can do as much as we can, and then Rift them back to Reality 616. We were successful, and the Rift activated, sending Doom back to Reality 616. Look at the last beacon, look! It's moving, it's moving, it's moving towards him! What's going on? It's look, look at the Rift Beacon! The over? last one! Right here! Wait, what, wait, what, wait, what, wait, what? directly on the hour, but he is dying. Oh, oh, he's dead. Oh, he's dead. It's over. GG's. Goodbye. Oh. What? Oh. Oh, the power of Pandora's box is leaving him. Oh, my God. Oh. No. Why don't they not? Why don't they not? Why don't they end? And then he's Now he's masked. I think What is that? Oh my god, the mask! Or oh, did he just drop? Is that his mask? Yeah. And that was it. Doom was defeated. Some of the aftermath of Doom being defeated, we have the Rift Beacon sent around the map performing the Halloween reality, but there was one Rift Beacon that was still active at restored reels, and the loop was actually tampered with it a little bit, and actually sort of causing it to send a portal to the, a Chapter 2 Remix reality that we all went into, and that's why everything's slightly different. We didn't go back in time to Chapter 2, we went to an alternate reality, an alternate remixed versions of Chapter 2 that was one of the realities that we saw in the Big Bang. One of them was a Chapter 2 remix reality. And this reality, instead of being controlled by Ghost and Shadow, was controlled by artists and rappers. And actually throughout this island, there actually are voice recordings left from Hope. Hey Valeria, remember when I'd accuse you and your friends of trying to ruin the world and you'd roll your eyes? You'd say something like, quiet. The adults are talking. Fun times. I'm not really sure what brought that to mind. Maybe it's you opening Pandora's box? I'm not leaving this message to gloat. I'm really not. I plan on doing that in person. But, uh, yeah. I think it's time for me to go. With all of your connections, you probably know this already. But Pandora's box is a part of something bigger. I can't shake the sense that I'm a part of it, too. I don't know where I'm going, or when we'll see each other again. So, if this is goodbye, it's been nice being your sister. And I'll be honest, even better being your nemesis. Take care of yourself. Nisha says hi. Hey, me again. I forgot a few things last time. First, Julie says hi. At least, I think that's what he said. Apparently, he really enjoyed being a hostage. He loves attention, so that tracks. Jones is still not your biggest fan, what with the Nana napping and all. But I've convinced him to get out of the vengeance game. For now. You're welcome. Don't make a habit of it. <sighs> you know, you could maybe pick up one of these times. <sighs> Alright. I'll try you again. Okay, that time you definitely sent me to voicemail. 
You are gonna feel so bad when you finally listen to these. But I'm sure whatever you're doing is much more important than having a final conversation with your sister. I disbanded the Underground. But if you want the Underground to stay gone, you're going to have to invite them to the table. You've got a lot of rebuilding to do. Don't do it alone. Nisha can help. The Underground are good people. They hate you, so right there you know they've got good judgment. I set up a meeting. The rest is up to you. Do the right thing this time. I know you will. Okay, this time I was really hoping you'd pick up. I don't really know who else I can talk to about this. So, turns out, my art can see the future. Well, uh, no, wait, wait, wait. Um, I can see the future, but it only shows up in my art. Yeah, I'm not explaining this well, am I? You know your whole fire thing? I can see the future through my paintings. So, kind of the same thing. I think I just had to say that. That's probably it, but I can't rule out another call. In these recordings, she's left some of the recordings for Valeria to call out to Valeria, try and get in touch, try and, you know, get Valeria to talk to some of the people from the underground. She also mentions that Pandora's energy, I'm pretty sure she's preparing to go to chapter 6, where she's going to try and find what Pandora's energy is linked to, because she thinks it's part of something bigger, and that she's connected to it. And I think that that something bigger is the nothing itself. And I'll get to, into that later in the video. Now, what chapter 6 will actually be? It'll be like Japanese sort of themed, maybe Chance and Mega City um, eras, maybe returning, like the Mega City Buy, not necessarily the futuristic stuff, but just Mega City Buy and returning, because you see the re return of the Peace Syndicate and stuff, which is pretty cool. It seems to be very fully inspired around J Japan and the Japanese theme. Now, I think when we go to chapter 6, the big bad of chapter 6. Well, maybe not get revealed until later into the chapter, but Big Bad will be the nothing, and Hope will be present on the island, and she'll find out that the Big Bad pulling, person pulling the strings of Pandora's box this whole time was actually the nothing. Now, you're probably asking, why is the nothing connected to Pandora's box? Well, I think that Pandora's energy itself could be what allowed the nothing to finally come to us without having to send and it coming to us itself and not having to send minions like the Q Queen or the Herald after us because it can't get to us. I think Pandora's energy after it left Doom has just gone chaotic around the Omniverse or something and nothing has used that power to finally be able to get to us without having to send its minions. And now the nothing is finally coming and this is the villain that's been pulling the strings all along and this is the villain that we will fight as the ultimate villain of chapter 6.